Hello. How are you? Especially you, Jess. Thank you for sending in this here video, Jess. Um, it's about the Northern Lights, which is evidently what I saw in that video reacting to Iceland for the first time. That was the Northern Lights. I mean, I probably should have known that. I don't know. I've certainly never seen anything like that. I've heard the term the Northern Lights. Oh, you know, you gotta see the Northern Lights. They're beautiful. I don't really, I, I never really knew exactly what that was. I've never even heard the term Southern Lights or Aurora Australis. <clears throat> but apparently that's a thing. So that's what this video is about. The Northern and the Southern Lights. I'm very amused that it's a video for kids. <laughs> It should say, for kids and Americans. <laughs> um, you know, I should be offended by that, but I'm not. I honestly, I deserve this. <laughs> I deserve to be treated like a child for some of the things I don't know. Um, so let's learn. There we go. Yep. That's about what I expected. The Cree called them the there dance of the spirits. I truly have no idea what that is. How, what, what is causing that? I have no idea. I hope I find out. In Finland, they said the lights were caused by the firefox running so quickly across the snow that his tail Could sent be. sparks into the sky. That's one theory. That's kind of a cool Ancient idea. Ancient Chinese observers believed they were the flames of good and evil dragons battling in the heavens. So you can see these in China, Iceland, Australia, but there's nothing like this that I know of in America. Even today, these mysterious and unpredictable lights are called Aurora, after the Roman goddess of the dawn. An Aurora, also known as a polar light, is a display of lights in the sky in the Arctic and Antarctic regions, in an okay, area known sense. as the auroral zone. An aurora Nature is weird. around the North Pole is, is it actually this vivid in real life? It's called Aurora Borealis, or the Northern Lights. What the hell could be causing An aurora that? around the South Pole is called Aurora Australis, Whoa, they're like or the Southern Lights. A little more subtle, but it's a really beautiful color. They are usually greenish in color, but are sometimes blue, violet, pink, or even red. Whoa. Auroras constantly move and I would think the world was ending. I would think that um, some country attacked us with some kind of gas and we were all gonna die. That's what I would think if I saw this. Change shape. Sometimes they are so dim they can be mistaken for clouds. Other times they So are those are not clouds? I assume the lights were like shining through through clouds or something. Bright enough to read by. But what causes these amazing lights? Yes, tell me! Please tell Auroras me. actually begin at the sun, which burns with so much energy that it superheats the gases around it. Whoa, you can totally see that same kind of pattern here on the sun's surface. And is that really what's causing it? Like that's what you're seeing down on Earth? Tiny particles or pieces of the sun There's are no blasted way. away from it at speeds of over 450 miles or 750 kilometers per second. This stream of particles is called the solar wind, and the Earth is directly in its path. That's lucky. The solar wind can disrupt satellites and be harmful to astronauts in space. That's unlucky. But the Earth is protected because of its magnetic field. The Earth has a molten iron core that rotates quickly. This shit's so weird, isn't it? It's crazy what like humans found out, huh? I don't know how people find this kind of stuff out. Glee turning it into a giant magnet. The magnetic field... I know that sounds incredibly stupid, but it's just amazing. You gotta respect it, you know? How much human civilization has figured out over the centuries and millenniums. The field around the Earth is called the magnetosphere. And like a magnet, it has a North Pole and a South Pole. Uh-huh, I knew that. <laughs> Most of the particles from the Sun are deflected by the Earth's magnetosphere. Okay, but some good. make it through to bombard the atmosphere. Oh no. As oh these electrically God. charged particles strike the atmosphere, 
they excite the oxygen and nitrogen <laughs> atoms, causing them to light up in the beautiful colors of an aurora. What in, what in the hell? I, I can't believe, for one, that that is an actual thing. And I can't believe, for two, that we figured out that's what causes it. How on earth, I know I just said that, but how do we figure out that, oh, the sun is sending off these particles and they're coming through and they're getting manipulated by the magnetism of the earth and they're going around here and exciting the particles and that's why you see the lights. If you want to see an aurora on Earth, you should head to areas near the poles. Okay. You may not know that auroras are also visible from space, where they can be seen as oh rings God. around the North and South Poles. No way. That's insane. The Earth is not the only planet to have auroras. Hmm. They have been observed on Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune. Now, why aren't there any real photos? Because there's no way that's real, right? The, obviously, that's not real. So why don't they show me a real photo? And Uranus as well. Or is that real? <laughs> is that real? Like the auroras on Earth, auroras <laughs> it looks so on fake. other planets occur around their north and south poles. Shifting curtains of light in the night sky. Auroras have fascinated people for thousands of years. So cool. They are a visible reminder of the connection our Earth has to the sun and one of the most beautiful phenomena in the heavens. I hope you enjoyed learning about auroras. So can you only see them at night, I, I assume? Goodbye till next time. Are they just happening at all times? You see these every day? Damn, that was cool. All about auroras for kids and Americans. For kids and ignorant people. Thank you for sending that in. Thank you for watching. And go check out Free School. Link down below. Nice video. If you're a child or an American, go check out Free School. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. No, next week. Next week. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.